What's up, you guys? From my neighborhood geek here, doing another um, unboxing slash uh, figure, or I guess I would say more collectible review. Um, in my last video, which I think um, my last review, because I uploaded TikTok a couple days ago, my last review, which I believe was on my Terminator Chromium toy review, um, I mentioned that I was going to the next video was going to be on a very hard to find and obscure collectible um these are a set of transformer uh toys um but not toys that you would have bought in the store these are actually happy meal toys um growing up you know i periodically uh, went to mcdonald's with you know my parents or other family and you know as a kid, you would always get always get the kids meal. So growing up, I did have a few of the McDonald's Transformer toys. Um, let me put my phone on vibrate. Um, there we go. Yeah, I had a handful of the uh, Transformer McDonald's toys. Um, I don't have any of them now. Um, but I really just got this set solely for one particular figure. In, in this particular McDonald's set, there were only four characters i believe um the these were uh i'll show you the box of course i won't show you the other side because it has my you know mailing information all that on there but this was um these figures were only released in australia and i believe brazil and europe so i had to shop outside the outside the u.s um and i was luckily i uh found a seller in Australia who was willing to ship to me in the US. So in total for these figures, I got, I probably paid like 45 bucks, which is actually a really, really good deal considering all these are new. Unfortunately, only one, I'm missing one figure. So I'm debating, I think the two that I really, really didn't want, I might just sell those or I'll show those. Um, I won't take those out of their, pa their plastic bags, but I will show, show those off briefly and if anyone's interested you know you can message me in the comments if you're interested in purchasing these for me if not they will i'll probably list these on ebay and macari and see if you know a buyer is interested in you know buying those other two figures um yeah so again this was very hard to get um i think this took about two weeks to get here because of the weather and just mailing process as a whole um i'm very excited though i'm very excited uh this will probably be the last time i buy outside the country outside of like china or something which you know it's pretty funny um but yeah business has been wonderful these last two weeks i've pretty much been making sales like almost every day every other day um that hot streak might slow down a little bit um but you know i always have items in my possession that I can put up for sale. Um, so yeah, but like I said, of course, so there is a video, but you can really, unless you type in these figures on Google, you're that, that's really like the only way you're gonna find these. Like even typing in these particular Transformer McDonald toys on YouTube, the video is not gonna come up. There was someone I believe in the UK or Australia and she did a, you know, a showcase showing the toys, but it was really straightforward, just transforming them, showing them. There wasn't really any dialogue. It had you no know, generic music playing in the background. So it wasn't really like an in-depth video going over the particular uh, figures that you could get in that, in that McDonald's set. Um, so another reason, like these are obscure, of course, I wanted, I'm a content creator, collector, all that good stuff. So of course I'm gonna make a video talking about it. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to get the box open. All right, without, yeah, without a, I don't want to ruin the box because I will reuse this box for, for when I'm ready to shift something else. Okay, here we go. So nicely packaged, it's great. Um. So of course, you know, the seller was like, I'm only interested in selling all these together. I said, yeah, that's fine. You know, I, even though I just wanted one, go ahead and get them. Um, 
Okay, so these are nicely sized. So we have Transformers. Ooh, cool. We have Transformers um, Energon. Uh, these, the bag says 2005. So these came out, yeah, around 2004, 2005. Um, the, I'm assuming these are part of the Unicron trilogy, which was Transformers Armada, Transformers Cybertron, Transformers Energon. Unfortunately, like I said, there's four, there's supposed to be four in the set, I only have three, unfortunately, but it's not that big of a deal. These were supposed to, um, yeah, these were only, you can only get these outside the country, Brazil, Europe, and Australia, which really sucks, but these are really charming. Um, this is the one I wanted the most, who will be doing a video on, uh, or showing, I'll take them out of the packaging. Um, we have Energon. Uh, Optimus Prime. Let's see. Uh, um, the, so, yeah, Aerojohn, Optimus Prime. So what was cool about these guys is that they all came with these little cubes. It seems like mine. I'm not sure if he comes with two. Okay, he comes with two accessories, which is really cool. Mine comes with two accessories. Aerojohn cube and then this piece that sits on the top. Um... Yeah, so I'll try to show them the best way I can in the packaging of uh, Energon Optimus Prime. I really like the blocky aesthetic of him. Like, again, these toys look very charming, so it sucks that these weren't in the States. So it would have made getting these guys so much easier. Um, but from looking at him on the inside, you'll see him a little bit better. Um, flip him over. Um, See him on the inside, he does look very, very charming. So like I said, if I had gotten all four of them, I probably would keep them. So we have Optimus, um, Megatron, you see right here. Um, so as far as listings, there were people selling the other characters like the Megatron, the Optimus, and the fourth character I don't have is Iron Energon Ironhide, um, which is another cool looking figure. Um, there were people selling these guys individually, but the one I want is Unicron. Um, he, uh, he was very hard to come by, very difficult to come by. Um, for years, I don't think uh, people were really aware. Like if you go on the tfwiki.net, um, you know, there's a there's a information on the different Unicron toys or these this series of figures in general. A lot of people didn't even know they existed. So I don't know how many years went by until that information about these toys was added to the TF Wiki. Um, Here's Megatron. Cool. Like I said, I want to show these guys the best I can. Because like I said, I plan on selling these. Um, but seeing him, um, you know, looks really cool. Let's see. So there is supposed to be a... So these cubes inside of them are supposed to light up. I don't know if they do that, unfortunately. And I don't know if there's any way to swap out the batteries. If there are, of course, I'll... Okay, so, well, some of these, I see some of the screws are like a, is a Philip, Philip screwdriver. Um, so maybe I might be able to do that with my Unicron. Um, but yeah, so here is uh, Megatron, Energon Megatron, which I like. That was one of my, one of my favorite Megatron designs. Um, and lastly... Lastly, we have Unicron, which I love the colors on this guy. Um, ironically, this is probably one of my action figure holy grails, like with my G1 Devastator. Uh, I would say those my Herculoid figures, um, my Tick action figure from Shocker Toys, like figures that are really, really hard to get a hold of. I would kind of consider those holy grails because, excuse me, of how difficult it may be to obtain them. Um, but this guy would be on the list. Um, yeah, a freaking Happy Meal toy is, is one of my holy grails. But I'm very, 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 very happy to finally get this guy. Um, let me see the instructions. Shows you how to transform them. Kind of get an idea of what he'll look like. There he is on the, on the back. 
Um, so from what I can see, I feel like they did a good job molding the detail that the uh, the, uh, the Hasbro, the big Hasbro um, Unicron toy that came out around this time, this little figure is a solid little like mini representation. Um, so I will open him and then we'll get on with the rest of the review. Okay, here is our little pocket-sized Happy Meal Unicron toy. Um, first thoughts, he's very, very cute, very charming. Um, so because of the rarity of these figures and the fact that they have been so difficult, you know, they're very kind of hard to come by. Um, I, I joined a Facebook group, so I'll give you guys a little background. I joined a Facebook group a couple weeks ago in hopes of someone uh, potentially having this in their possession and selling it to me. Um, someone, I, you know, I put a post on the group. It was a Transformers group that talks about toys and people can buy and sell from off of there. Um, I made a post talking about this toy um, and someone got back with me. They were selling it loose for $60. Uh, which was a little bit more than I wanted to spend. Um, but I was like, okay, it's something I really want. At the time, I was a little short. I said, give me a couple days. You know, I sell off a few things and I'll be able to have the money. Within like day two, day one of me in the process of, you know, getting the extra funds to purchase the figure, they had notified me that someone bought it. Which I was really bummed about because they had it on eBay and someone eventually bought it for like the the price they had it for was like seventy dollars. But I'm pretty sure, you know, it had the best offer option where you can send an offer and the seller agrees to it and you can pay it for whatever price you ask you whatever offer you sent you can pay it for that price. Um, like I doubt they paid sixty, you know, seventy dollars for it. But uh, so kind of exited that out. There was someone. Um, in Australia who were, who was selling, selling just this figure. They had a, like five of them in stock, but they didn't ship to the U S they, you know, weren't willing to work with me basically. So kind of, so X that person. So two people who I could have potentially bought this from X them out. There's another person who had the whole set. They were loose. They didn't ship to the U S either. So three Three places I looked for this figure and none of them could help, basically. And like I said, luckily, fingers crossed, I came across um, this person, this seller who sold this to me, and they were willing to ship to the U.S. I was very grateful. Um, actually, when I get finished with this recording, I will message them and let them know that the items came and thank them again for, like I said, doing business with me. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of how hard these are to come by, especially this particular one, because like I said, there have been listings, um, but none of them have just solely been on for this guy. There was a listing, someone who was selling him to the U.S., but he was incomplete. He was missing his Energon cube and missing his back piece. So to say all that, I'm finally glad to get him um, when I leave for basic training. I know you can take personal items. So if possible, I, you know, may take this guy with me as like just a keepsake and just something, just a, a small piece of my collection to have with me. Because I know after uh, you finish basic training, you don't get to go home, I believe. You go, like, you have to do extra training for whatever job you um, apply for in the military, so... You have to, you'll have to go to your next destination in, re, in regards to the, the new job that you, you signed up for. <laughs> so I, I would like to just have a little something for my collection along with me while I travel. Um, but anyway, all that aside, again, he's very charming, um, luckily. So there are, there's an on and off switch for these, for these uh, toys. So I'm pretty sure that the Optimus and Megatron who are off screen, I'm pretty sure you could, um, they probably work, their cubes work. So luckily, and the battery compartment, the screw is a Phillips screw, so you could easily, you know, unscrew it and replace the batteries, which is awesome. Um, but 20 years later, as you can see, uh, 20 years later, the battery still works. 
That is so cool. It lights up. That is dope. Um, we'll go over the detail. So the detail on the chest, it's cool. I like the detail on the chest. He has molded fist. Um, it would have been cool if he had like a up down articulation instead of like <laughs> like like instead of his 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 arms coming out like that. That would have been nice, but you know it's, it's cool. No feet articulation, which is, again, it's a McDonald's toy. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Um, his feet are nicely molded. A lot of nice detail. Kind of looks like the Death Star a little bit. Um, of course, you could you could get him to sit. Um, have him in a, in a sitting position. Which is really funny. Um, trying to think. Like I said, he has on the back of him, it says, made for McDonald's Corp 2004, made in China. So on the figure, it says 2004, but the packaging says 2005. So either or, well, yeah, well, I'm not sure. Because like I said, when I said they were released in like Brazil, that may have been like a year later. And I know those came without the Energon cubes, which is kind of kind of lame. Um say so the detail on the outer shell, the outer ring is nice. Um, I see miscellaneous gray paint in areas, but it's like down here. So it's not really noticeable, you know, or it wouldn't be that bothersome um, being in that bag for all those years. Um, yeah, so... Um, no head, I'm trying to remove some paints and areas. So no head articulation, which isn't a big deal, but would have been cool if he could do that. Um, this kind of falls back, which is kind of a bummer. It doesn't really lock into place or anything in um, robot mode. I believe this is removable. But of course, I'm not going to remove it. Um, so just try to get a good look at his head. I don't think it's going to come in that well. But I like the purple. He has red eyes. Uh, the white mouth, the horns, the red dot on his forehead. Um, it looks like Unicron. Just a little miniature version. And that's a big Energon cube. Um... Hmm. See, he has another little button. I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Or, or maybe that just kind of... Okay, that there's, there's another little piece molded underneath the... Like, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that, I guess that helps keep this in place, you know, now that I look at it. That's cool. Yeah, keeps it in place. That's nice. Um, so here's the Energon cube. Might not be able to see all the detail that well, but there is nice molded detail on this side and this side where the button is. Um, you see the battery compartment, which is cool. It's orange. Um, you see it lights up. It's neat. I'm glad it still works. And like I said, there's an on and off switch. Uh, so I'll show you what he looks like. Basic transformation. Close the arms down. Fold this planet piece up. And yeah, it locks in place. It looks cool. It's really, really cool. Um, like I said, the detail on the top, it looks like, you know, the represent, representation of him that appeared in Energon. It, you know, there's a little button right here for for the uh, Energon cube in the center. It has a little molded pinchers. There's a lot of nice detail. I like it's like the smoky, translucent gray. <laughs> Excuse me. Very, very cool. Um, and you see it locks into place. And I will show you guys what he looks like with. With the cube inside. 
That looks like with the Cuban side. You know, that's dope. Again, kids and back then, had, I'm sure they would have had fun with these toys. Um, so that's kind of it for this guy. Um, very charming, very cool. Definitely cool. Definitely worth getting if you're a fan of Unicron. If you're a fan of Transformers Energon, if you're a fan of the McDonald's Transformer um, food toys, because they've had, you know, toys at like Carl's Jr. They, they did some for Rise of the Beast, surprisingly, the last Transformers movie that came out. Um, they've had some for Burger King back when they did the Bay Bursts. Um, excuse me, all that cool stuff. Um so if you're, you know, if this is something interesting to you and you want to hunt it down like I had to do, <laughs> knock yourself out. Um, like I so said, just for the sheer novelty of it, I, you know, I think it's really cool. If you were someone who wanted to have a Unicron collection, want to get every version of Unicron that won't cost you an arm and a leg, um, this is something you would want to get. Um, there is a Super 7 which are more like the 3.75 inch scale figures. There was a Super 7 figure of Unicron release that was based off the G1 prototype. So that's a little similar to this, but of course that doesn't transform. It just has, you know, articulation. Um, but it's a solid alternative if you wanted a, uh, not a Megatron, a Unicron in the scale. It's a solid alternative. Um, so, yeah. But... Next review, like I said, I don't know. There's so many uh, Transformers I'd like to get. Um, I was there's there's another popular Disney character who I've always wanted a figure of, and they finally released one that I would actually like to have in my collection. So if I might pull the trigger, I, that character is at Walmart for a really good deal. I might pull the trigger on that maybe. Um, like I said, I'm just really, uh, yeah, um, the Spider-Man train, <laughs> Spider-Man train kind of took a break. Um, there's still plenty of Spidey, Marvel Legends Spidey figures I'd love to get. Um, they've released um, pictures for the Spider-Man India from Across the Spider-Verse, who's getting a new SH Figure Arts toy, all that cool stuff. So there's a lot of, again, a lot of, there's a lot of characters and figures I'd like to get. Um... So, but I might wait till the end of the month. We'll see. Uh, what I would really like to get is the next wave of Transformers Legacy, which will have um, a G1 Optimus Prime with modern articulation, like a retail version. They already made one that was geared towards collectors. Um, and then Slipstream, who, even though that figure... <laughs> The, 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 sh the pictures they showed look, the figure looked kind of disappointing. I'd still like to get her because I'm a fan of Slipstream. So those two I might get at the same time. Like I said, the Disney character I might get. You know, there's a couple other miscellaneous figures and characters I wouldn't mind having. So we'll see. We'll see. I just, you know, I've just pretty much been stacking my money, really. And with the exception of this, like the exception of this, because I really wanted it. Um, but yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Um, I'm happy to be the first person to talk about these figures in detail. Um, so again, if you're interested in the Optimus or Megatron, you can leave a comment and we could work something out. If not, they will be up for sale on eBay and Macari. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace, you guys.